Hello, health stream. Just made my juice. Real quick. Party nails. New Year's Eve's coming. Little black, well, actually long black dress. Gotta have the red nails. It's probably the only time of the year I ever do it. Just because red gets everywhere. Anyway, let me have some juice. So. Oh, that feels so good. Um, so yeah, so today I'm fasting. I forgot to mention, so... Uh, medical medium says this is a good fast to do one day every two weeks and it's good for your liver and what you do is you I'm, I'm sure I told you about this before but never hurts to keep going that I um, you drink it every two hours and then the other hour you drink a big glass of water at least so um, so yeah super easy right you're not hungry I'm not hungry tastes good feels good so good. So do it. Um, if you want to. Or you can just feel bad. You can feel bad. It's okay. But it's not okay. Anyway. But here's my news. So. I talked to my cousin. Who is just like me. We have the same build. She's a little uh, more slender. And um. So my sister and I and my cousin, we all grew up together across the street from each other. She was the only girl, two boys and a girl. And then it was my sister and I, two girls, no boys. And she, her birthday was right between my sister and I. And what's weird is that my sister has two girls and she has, um, she has two girls. And the, her oldest girl is right between my sister's two girls, just like we were. So it's weird how that happens. Anyway, uh, I mean, clearly coincidence, but really weird too, because we can really relate to them and we say, oh, remember when this and what age are they? Remember when we were young and da da da, same thing. So it's really cool. Unfortunately, they don't live close together, so they didn't grow up as close as we did. But um, this cousin and I, and we all oddly are nearly the same height, have pretty much exactly the same build. So, uh, so of course, our, most of our lives, we talked about how heavy we were and how much weight we need to lose and this and that and the other thing. And when you have someone that's pretty much identical to you, you know, it's easy to tell the difference, but at least we understand each other. Um, so we can commiserate with each other. And this cousin and I, uh, we used to run a lot of half marathons together. Uh, we used to walk and so did my sister I mean we walked we used to walk when we were young around town just walk 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 and um so we always had that in common because you know as as girls we would talk so we would talk and walk it didn't matter how cold it was but that kept us slim and we didn't really even know until we kind of stopped doing it and then like wow we really um kept ourselves fit just by walking around not intending to but talking so um so when, as we got older, that morphed into running together. And then um, my sister who couldn't ever really run. She has asthma and allergies and things. Um, she started running too. And I wound up um, running half marathon with her not so long ago. But then um, I think it might have been my last race. And I think it was her last race too because she had since um, torn some things in her, her ankle. Like that had some surgery on a hamstring or something like scary stuff that you know what just don't run just don't do it and then my cousin she just told me so we used to talk to each other for hours every night and um on the phone she has three kids but yet we would talk on the phone for hours and um and she but we haven't talked in a while because you know lives get crazy and things happen. This kind of feels like the hermit year, 2019. Everyone seems to be in hermit mode. So, um, so of course, you know, you understand that people's lives get busy, things get busy. So we haven't talked. We talked probably twice this year, maybe even once. And, um, and I didn't know she had two surgeries on her knee. So she had surgery on her knee, I think when she was a senior in high school. And, um, she, just unfortunately had surgery again and then it didn't go right and then they had to do it again um, so that all being said we were on the phone for almost two hours and I sent her some pictures of me 
she hasn't seen me and she doesn't really go on social media so she hadn't really seen me and so I sent her um, the original picture of from three years ago it's three years ago in a few days yeah January 1st so today's December 29th so it will be exactly three years ago when this picture of me when I was um, sick and really bloated and I didn't even realize how awful I looked um, I'll, I'll put that in here because I think I can because I've been learning this movie software and um, and she was floored because she knew me right everyone that sees this picture can't believe that that's me either because they're like you just you didn't look like that well I didn't look like that to you because you remember how how I looked my whole life right but clearly I looked like that it's a picture it's not it's not an ugly app altered picture so and then I sent her the picture from Halloween which I'll put in here where I wore um, Princess Leia slave costume because I could and she was like what and uh yeah I said yeah this you know our whole lives we we talked about we dieted we exercised we ran half marathons I ran a marathon uh, worked out like crazy did cardio kickboxing did all this stuff and to try to look like this right our whole lives and I start trying to get fix my hyperthyroid and two years later this is what happened I'm totally unintentional way happy and thankful about it but totally unintentional so um, she was blown away so she's like okay I got to do what you're doing I know I have the medical medium books I got to read them I got it uh, intermittent fasting what so I basically reviewed everything I do and of course I said call me whenever you have questions text me whatever you need to do I'll answer any questions you have you know I'll help you motivate you she's like okay I'll start right after New Year's Eve and I was like okay you can wait for that if you want she's like oh well maybe I could start I could start now and I was like yeah you could start now um, you know if you stop eating tonight at 9 and don't eat until 9 in the morning tomorrow that counts so you're starting and then you'll be successful because you can do that and then you'll do it the next day and then if you fall off New Year's Eve so what start again the next day um, but at least you started and you're and you're already successful so that's good so she said okay I'll start tomorrow and I said okay start tomorrow and she's like oh I'll start today <laughs> and I was like well I understand I'm not I'm not trying to make you feel bad you know yeah you start whenever you feel like it you know if you you've already eaten today clearly so whenever you stop eating just try not to eat until 12 hours later tomorrow it should be no big deal so I was excited about that because there's another person that's really excited um, and you know that I've helped motivate to to really get kick-started so after this long phone call and my coffee enema um, I got a text message from someone who I met in Cabo and you know that she saw my before and after pictures and she actually took the first picture of me and Greg ever together as a couple and it was so good I'm so happy that that's our first picture and we both look so good but the picture came out so good because she takes amazing pictures and um, and you know just being around us and hearing our quirky eating habits and all this other stuff so she texted me and she said I'm I'm by the way I need to let you know I'm eating broccoli uh, Brussels sprouts and um, thinking of you so happy to have my new BFF happy new year and oh I can't I got chills I can't tell you how I mean, it makes me want to cry and you know I, I said happy new year and thank you and want to can't wait to see you again and think about you every day and because um, I do I really do think about her every day she's really motivated me and been a huge positive 
influence um, on me since I met her and it's only been a few weeks. So, that, I mean, uh, it just leaves me speechless. Like these angels come into my life and they come into yours too. Just blessings, blessings from the universe, from God, from wherever. You know, just gotta look at them. So, anyway, um, she said, you know, and you should be proud of me. She said, I'm proud of you and you should be proud of me because I would never eat a Brussels sprout before. <laughs> but I think I might actually like them. And I was like, I'm so proud of you. Like, Brussels sprouts are so good. I said, slap some bacon and Parmesan on those puppies and they're magical. And they are. And I know it's a big trendy thing and it's been for the past however many years, but it should be because they're so good and they're so good for you. Um, you know, artichokes, you don't get enough of those. Those are really good for your thyroid. I need to eat more of them, but um, they have some pre-made ones that um, Whole Foods or at least, I haven't seen them in a while, but they I used to get them. They're really good. Something like some buffalo sauce, really good. Popped them in the microwave, delicious. So, I wanted to share that with you because it makes me so happy to help people and it makes me so happy um, to motivate people and I mean, I can't tell you enough how that's what I really, that's why I'm doing any of this and I really will help anyone that really wants to get better. And I don't just mean wants to get skinny. I don't actually want to help people that want to get skinny. <laughs> I don't, you know, if that's your goal, that's not a good enough goal for you. It's not a good enough goal to make permanent positive improvements. But if you want to feel good about everything about yourself, about you as a person, about you uh, and your life, and about you feeling good in your skin. And yeah, don't get me wrong, it feels flipping phenomenal to feel this good in your skin. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like ridiculously good. Um, but just to you don't have to look this good to feel good in your skin is all is my point. But if you can, I would give it a shot cuz it's like what? It doesn't suck. <laughs> it doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. Anyway, so that's my that's what I wanted to share for today. I don't have any other messages, I don't think. Wish me luck on drinking that tea. I don't know how that's gonna go. Peace out.